You can also create a table that links directly to information that's contained in an Excel spreadsheet. So here's how it works. Here's an Excel spreadsheet that contains a parts list. I'll select these items and then copy them to the Windows clipboard. Okay, then over here in AutoCAD, in the clipboard panel on the Home ribbon tab, I'll select Paste Special. AutoCAD displays the Paste Special dialog. In this dialog, I'll select Paste Link to paste the contents of the clipboard as a link. Notice that when I select Paste Link, I have a choice of either pasting as a Microsoft Excel worksheet or as AutoCAD entities. I want to select AutoCAD entities because if I select AutoCAD entities, then the data from Excel gets pasted into AutoCAD as an AutoCAD table object. So of course then AutoCAD is going to prompt me for the insertion point of the table. As soon as I place the table, I can see all the data that was copied from Excel. But that data is now linked to the Excel spreadsheet. So let's toggle back and if I subsequently make a change to the spreadsheet, such as changing the unit cost for this item, if I save the change in Excel and then we come back over here to AutoCAD, notice that AutoCAD after a second or so delay displays a little balloon in the lower right corner informing me that a data link has changed. If I click the link in the balloon, the data is automatically updated in the table in AutoCAD. If we come back and we make another change in Excel, I've got to save the Excel spreadsheet. When I come back over here into AutoCAD, AutoCAD tells me again that the data has changed. And when I click on the link in the alert balloon, AutoCAD updates the data in the table. I can also make changes in the AutoCAD table and push those changes back to the Excel spreadsheet. But before I can do that, I need to enable this capability. So by default, tables that are linked in AutoCAD uh, to external data are locked. So in order to be able to push the data from AutoCAD back to Excel, I have to unlink that data. So I have to unlock those cells. So if I select the table, I can see that they're locked by the presence of a lock icon. And when I hover my cursor over the cells, I can see that little lock icon. I can also see the locked cells indicated by this thick border and these green corner indicators. So I'm going to click up here and select the entire table and then right click and we'll just unlock the entire table. Now I also have to enable the ability to write back to the Excel spreadsheet. So with the table already selected, I can right click outside the table and choose data links and then edit data link and we'll select the Excel data link 1 to display the modify Excel link dialog. And if I click this arrow in the lower right corner, and this is really the key, because when the dialog first displays, it's in this uh, reduced form, I can expand the dialog box, and we'll just come over here and select this checkbox to allow writing to source file. And then we'll just click OK to close out of the dialog. Okay, now once I enable writing to the Excel spreadsheet, any changes I make to the table can be pushed back to the linked spreadsheet. For example, I'll change the unit cost of this part. Once I've saved my changes, in the Tables panel on the Annotate ribbon, I'm going to click Upload to Source. AutoCAD prompts me to select the objects. I'll click and select the table. And then I can either right click or press the Enter key. And notice that AutoCAD indicates that one object was found and one data link was written out successfully. If we come back out here and we reopen the Excel spreadsheet, I can see that the change that I made in AutoCAD now appears in the Excel spreadsheet. So as you can see, it's very simple and easy to copy data from Excel and to have that data appear in AutoCAD as a table with a link that is automatically created so that the changes I make in the Excel spreadsheet show up inside the AutoCAD model. And it's also pretty easy with just a few modifications to AutoCAD's default settings to be able to make changes to a table inside of AutoCAD and push those changes back out to the Excel spreadsheet, something that people have been asking to do in AutoCAD for probably a dozen releases.